running river said. War! Running river gathers a tribal council, but won't listen to our council. I don't need advice from old women who have forgotten how to fight. You say the treasure is cursed. I say it belonged to the ancient ones, our ancestors. And it is the source of power. It is the people of this land who were given the key to the secret place. So Running River will wage a war on the white man. He will use the sacred medallion to buy many rifles. Puma's paw asks, who will sell us these rifles? The whites? Perhaps we can ask them to shoot themselves as well. Puma's paw has no teeth anymore and meows like a kitten. In the south, where the treasure is hidden, live a people who hate the white coyotes as much as we do. They will sell us the weapons. It is beyond the mountains and across the great river. Who will venture on this journey? My son, Shajam, seen father. He speaks the language of the whites, as did his mother. My son, it is time for you to prove that you are one of us. By causing a war, which will bring annihilation upon our people? Seeing father deserves his name. And maybe he deserves to be called coward. No one, not even the great Apache chief running river, will call me a coward. Then prove your worth. Prove you're an Apache. Beyond. All right, father. I will journey south and find someone to sell us these rifles. You will have your war. Running River does not respect the Creator or those who remember his childhood. He wants to take the medallion from its place of safety and bring the Life Giver's wrath down on his people. It won't be Running River who makes the sacrifice, but his tribe and his son. Boma Pa has spoken. Running River has spoken. Prepare for war. Mexico. What a godforsaken land. Ray heard tales of a great Aztec treasure hidden in the foothills near the border town of Juarez. It is said to be cursed, and that all who seek it will find only madness. The locals call this greedy fever the Call of Juarez. Ray laughed off the curse and convinced Thomas that we could use this treasure to rebuild our life and our home back in Georgia. We were talking about this very subject in a little cantina near San Lorenzo when my brothers first laid eyes on her. She looked like an angel. Looks can be deceiving. The promise of that treasure is attracted a shitload of lowlifes looking for easy money. Are you talking about us, little brother? Jesus. That treasure is nothing but a fairy tale. There's only one decent way for God-fearing people to make their fortune. With hard work and sacrifice. Or, we can find some rich son of a bitch and put a gun to his head. You're drunk. I'm getting there. Tomorrow we'll buy some equipment and start our search. We got a lot of ground to cover. Right now, though, I just need a little more tequila and a woman of questionable moral character. Hell 
was that? What you hurry, little lady? Baboso. Mr. Darren, I'd like to see you. What if I don't want to see him? He wants to see you today, senorita, in his bed, wearing nothing but a smile. Pendejo! <laughs> but he never buys a mare unless it's already broke in, so maybe I should take you for a ride and knock some of the fight out of you. You little whore! Call the sheriff. What do you think, brother? We let that asshole have his way with her? I think no fucking way. Brother, I think you're kind of sweet on that gal. Come on. What are you two getting yourselves into? And what does your God say about helping the helpless, hmm? Now get your ass back in the saloon and stay there.
This carrot top son of a bitch starting to piss me off. Maybe it's time we piss on him a little. What the hell are you doing? Have you lost your mind? What did I just tell you? I'm going with you. You want to die? It ain't safe here, brother. You find yourself some cover. <laughs> hey! Hey! <sighs> He's still here. What the hell, boy? You gonna get us killed watching out for you? You're the ones that need looking after. Snipers! They're holding the entrance! Distract that son bitch, and I'll flag them and take them out from the side. Shoot! Come on! There's no time! It's only a woman, Ray. waiting for move we're running out of time wait with her we'll meet by the church I told you he won't run I don't know where you two pecker heads are from but is it really worth getting your asses shot off for some greasers whore you sorry assholes mess with the wrong son of a bitch I'm wanted from Colorado to Texas, boys. I'm the one who killed that Texas Ranger in El Paso. And the Jericho Kid in Abilene. They call me the Rattler. Cause that's how fast I am. The Rattler? 
Son of a bitch. So no one would blame you if you turned tail and ran. You killed the Jericho kid? So you have heard of me? Nope. I'll kill you before you clear leather. You hear me? Took her to the church. I know the way. Quick, let's get over there before they find out. I never thought I'd live to see the day a woman gets you inside a church. Damn, brother, say something for me. Some bitch five times. Well, it's cost money, brother. I'd rather waste more of mine if I can avoid catching some of theirs. I don't know, but if they leave, we won't find them. I ain't got a clear shot. God damn it. If you want to piss Rattler off, you go right ahead. Gilmore, go look around. She's running to the church. Good girl. Let's take them out. hurt you.
made some dangerous enemies today, amigo. I am Juan Mendoza. Friends call me Juarez. Ray McCall. And these are my brothers, Thomas and William. Thanks for the help. No, thank you, amigo, for rescuing my beautiful Marisa. I'd like to invite you all to my Alcazar this evening for a little celebration. Sure. Why not? Excelente. It is not far from here. Just ask anyone. Everyone knows Juarez. Thanks, Ray. But next time, maybe you should ask us before agreeing to break bread with a bandit like that. They don't seem like such a bad sort. You trust them? I didn't say that. I don't know who you two are anymore. Juan Mendoza was the leader of the largest outlaw gang in Juarez. Everyone was afraid of him. Even his beautiful Marissa. What worried me more was the way Ray looked at her. And Ray wasn't one to back down. Trouble was brewing. And I didn't know how to put a stop to it. Friends, I invited you here today because I have something that needs done. And I believed you are the men to do it. The gringos you gun down work for a pendejo by the name of Devlin. This greedy bastard is blowing up every mountain south of the border, searching for a treasure that by all rights belongs to the people of Mexico. By people, you mean you. Why, of course. You want Devlin dead? Dead, missing, disappeared. I just want him gone. But to get to Devlin, you must first defeat his many hired guns. And you'll pay us for this, hmm? I will give you a share of the treasure. How do you even know there is a treasure? It was the ransom for Montezuma, held hostage by Hernando Cortez. Aztec gold, emeralds, diamonds as big as your fist, riches beyond compare. That's just a fairy tale. No, me. It is real, very real, and it can be ours. Where is this, Devlin? Ray, you can't be serious. You would be doing the people here a very great service. Devlin and his men have killed many innocents, women, children. My brothers do not need more blood on their hands. We all have blood on our hands, boy. You two will get dirty one day. Besides, who said anything about killing? It would be enough if Devlin and his men just go back to where they came from. Do we have a deal? 